Christian Schmilly is the XR project scientist from DLR, the German Space Agency. And we'll start off with Paul. That map, I think, minimizes the accomplishment of this team. I mean, this truly is a magnificent accomplishment. Then we take the algorithms that have been in work, uh, that have been part of The images these guys are getting are just absolutely stunning. Um, we've got them posted all over the control center, and, and the only problems we have is, is people just standing there and freezing in front of the pictures because they're so pretty they don't want to go back to work. It's just amazing stuff. Um, and, and, and what's even more amazing is that these pictures are just wetting our appetites for most of the data that's yet to come. Uh, we're just seeing a, a very, very, very small tip of the ice, iceberg here. Ooh. Uh, on, on, go ahead and run the video on the first, uh, the first few days of the mission of uh, Miquelon and, and St. Pierre Islands off the coast of Newfoundland. We're now crossing a, um, a barrier beach along that connects these two islands and we're just going to take you on a tour of the island showing you some of the incredible relief and, and topography of, of this coastal, uh, these two coastal uh, islands. And we'll end up today. A hundred times more data in a given unit of area, and the quality of the data is, is definitely at least twice as good as that near global set that's available today. And uh, after that processing, we'll also have the, the two sets of imagery that we mentioned before at the L minus 14. They will have an, a set of ascending imagery and a set of descending imagery of radar imagery that's approximately 30 meter resolution, comparable to a Landsat, but we're not dealing with clouds. We're not worrying about day, night, all weather. Now we're going to fly up the Teagle River Valley uh, toward the mountains in the background. Uh, if you remember one of the perspective views that we showed you several days ago, we showed a, a full view of, the, uh, of this mountainous region uh, with the, uh, the coast on the left and the uh, high mountains in the background. What we're seeing is some of the young geological terrain. Uh, this area is uh, composed of, of young geologic uh, or volcanic deposits, lava flows, and also debris flows. Uh, the Teagle River Valley here is, is carved through this geologic terrain. And I believe we're going to turn north and head up into the mountainous region. Well, it's the first image you're seeing is an area of Patagonia. And this is a geomorphologist's dream. What you're seeing now is a perspective view looking toward the north um, of, the, uh, of the southeast island of Oahu. In that striking comparison between the 1,000-meter data set and the 100-meter data set. And therefore, we have these row of volcanoes. Next slide, please. We are now zooming into the Cotopaxi mountain volcano. It is uh, 6,000 meters height. This volcano is still an active volcano. Uh, but its last big eruption was in uh, January 1803. Now you're going to see a scroll along the Lake Baikal uh, coastline in uh, Boyatia, near this, uh, the center of the state Ulanudi. <coughs> and uh, you're actually, you are stopping now again at the, um, in the upper right, you see part of the Lake Baikal uh, Lake, which is frozen at this time of the year.